Welcome, you fine folk. You're about to listen to one of the most dynamic recordings ever. We're a Connecticut-based podcast that will never ask for a Patreon. That's not what this is about. This is about recording creativity and imagination run loose in the time when those things are needed. Welcome to Dungeonetics. In our previous episode of Dungeonetics, the party was faced with the task of gaining the trust of a green dragon one that was held in check by a gelatinous mind-controlling ooze. Anyway, we wrecked face. The zombie horde? Well, that's just icing on the cake. But now, equipped with new armor, new trinkets, and a new understanding of each other, the agents of Endurin are ready to Strive forward and find out what the heck happened to their friend. Done genetics. The we'll game plan find from here, guys. Well, well, we're still gonna find what's his face. We gotta uh, find what's uh, his face. The dragon boy. Yeah. Current. Yeah. Uh, current. Current. Oh, we don't know where Current is. Yeah, yeah. he was supposedly in this town. Current Kirky. No, he was outside of this town. Yeah. Is there his intern? That's why we're while, intern. while we're up at the. No, point. when he sent the sun in, he did a while a few days back. Said right. he was in. Yeah. Okay. While I'm up at the bell tower and look around. So then we need to figure out where he went. Is there, is there any smoke in the distance, or is he still in Uh, Other than what's in this town, no. Anything suspicious off in the distance? Uh, no. All you see is like the top of the canopy. All right, so so like, he can't see the eclipse from here? <laughs> he doesn't have his glasses so I'm just, on. He's I'm, right. You need to I'll, send, I'll send my raven out Zero towards the dwarven borough to, to see if there's anything going on. All right, give me a roll. There he is. Oh, the first. Oh, oh this oh, is yeah. a big, big oh. moment. Oh, big moment. Oh, this is exciting. Yeah. Oh, no. stuck. Oh. It's stuck. Wah, wah, wah. Wah. I didn't test out on oh. the size of everyone's dice. Oh my god. It is stuck. It is oh, really wow. Stuck it is really stuck. May I see it? <laughs> sure, I can push it out. I think you had a pencil. Oh man, this is not. This is not. How good. embarrassing. Oh, How embarrassing. <laughs> right. It's going to be tricky to put back on, too. Oh, 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 look at this. This pro. Seven. <laughs> All that for a big seven. Dice Does that actually well. have liquid in it? Yeah, it has an eye. Is that a dragon eye? Yeah. Seven. Seven. Uh, seven. I don't know what you're asking. Which thing for? Yeah, it, it's just for your bird to see how well he's. Nine. So he he heads north. Um, and then. Right now. Well, oh, it's yeah. not actually monster. It's a, a mix of monster and a mountain dew. Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> Because that's better than what Monster That is like a concoction. You just want to. So you're running a, you're running a marathon after this? Yeah, or okay. you're going to do a I know. <laughs> it's going to swivel himself into the ground. So. I'm going to get up and go. You, uh, look at the fancy. It heads up. It's in two. It hey, comes back. Monster can. Oh, I didn't even It, it comes it's back. It, uh, just... it tells you that there are. <laughs> the fancy thing. Um, it caught. A wagon <laughs> going north into the Dwarven Barrow, and outside the Dwarven Barrow are uh, several undead watching the entrance. So correct me if I'm wrong, but wasn't the barrel supposed to be abandoned? No. Well, it, it is used by the trade road. So okay. this is where the army is going to come through, so we should... Ideally, we should collapse the, yeah. the the tunnel because then they have no other way of getting in there besides over the mountain, so prevent the army from coming in. But does anyone have mold? Why is there undead there? Why is there a wagon going into it? Because that's the question. 
Mm. <laughs> well, uh, do you have mold your earth? Monster suit? Yes. Can you close up these tunnels with mold earth? Sure. Actually, cool. I probably could we just use Tremor. That? No, we gotta be a dwarven. Yeah, we gotta, yeah, get we all gotta go there and test it. We're in Timberton. We're like a. For a good month. Um, is that like eight hours away? Is that like eight hours away? Um, so you're in Timberton check, check to the, the Barrow. See what you can do with it. Uh, that is. It's impossible. A difference of. 18 miles. You can do it 30 feet away. Okay. So, so, so what does it do exactly? You guys. It's like half a day. You guys travel at. Um, normal pace, about three three miles it's an hour. area of loose earth. So you can six hours. Be ex- ex- excavated. Yeah. Six I'm hours at a walk. Deposit up to oh. five feet away. It can cause shapes, colors, and stuff to appear on stones. That's not going right. so. Okay, so why don't we yeah, take a, why don't we take a six hour walk? Become difficult to terrain. Terrain. Like a difficult terrain. It's 18 miles. It takes us six hours. Mm-hmm. So why don't we head to in that direction? There is no way we can requisition. Any sort of uh, carriage? Do you want to scout Timberton oh, yeah, a little bit to see if Callum's here somewhere? Or Curran's here somewhere? Curran. Why don't you use message on Curran, Curran. Yeah, why don't you use message on him? Okay. Because well, here's the it, thing. It would have to be sending. Message only shoots the people you see. Yeah, sending, yeah. Sending. That, that, that is, is a third, third level, level spell. So. Well, I mean, it's... Well, dude, well, I walk around? He, here's what I know. Well. We asked him who we is. What? <laughs> what? My understanding is current came here. We asked him who, who he is. Who he is. Last time we were looking for him, yes. he yeah. said that he well, was here. Him last yes. Time. And then he said, "Listen, we need you." Yes. Now there's the collective we, or there's we when someone who is with him. Mm-hmm. Either way, he didn't tell us who that was. Correct. Mm. I don't like people being vague. I'm sorry, that's just how Pa Jammers rolls. You just remember uh, sending's only 25 words and I can only get one response back, so. Where the fuck are you? There, now you got 20 left. <laughs> yeah, jeez. <laughs> sorry, again, Pa Jammers. Tell us how you really feel. <laughs> Why, you want to write an ionic pentameter too? <laughs> just, uh, <laughs> so, so, like. I'm just saying, that's all I was just saying. Is, okay. that, is, it, is it worth sending, is it worth wasting a third level spell? Yes. Before we possibly get into a, a big hoopla, it could change our direction. The it could change could. our direction. Yeah. Could. All right. Because, I mean, you can even tell them we're about to leave. And if it happens to be where the things are guarding, can I throw out the the, the randomness to figure, figure this out? If it actually is current that I'm reaching See, well, out to. See, but why would the spell fail like that? Hmm. Well, because it could be someone that has deception that can do that. Well, why would it have led us to this place that was trying to be attacked? It wouldn't lead us to stop them, so it's not something that is No, I know. Evil. I'm just saying it doesn't mean it has to be. I'm just saying. And it, I think the, uh, the connection spell is, is because... You like know you were saying, the we and things, we don't really know. But I, it's, I think it's... Yeah, but like, the, the, doesn't the spell work because you happen to know who it is and you're Thinking That's true. I know mean, he's there. To my he knowledge, he's there is right. no sort of masking right, or right, right. foolery that can yeah. interfere with this plane. It's not like, right. like I think it's, it's, it's not an easy thing for someone to, to spoof. To, to spoof, they would have to be incredibly powerful, know what you're doing, and and, and use much more powerful magic to hijack. It's worth it. I think it's worth doing. Because you, I mean, okay. He makes a good point. It could change the direction. Okay. Right. Where we go. No, I got it. I got it. Okay. Curran, we have arrived in Timberton. We searched the city for you. Uh, Where are you now? Have you moved on? Mm. Uh, we plan on heading to Dorvin Borough. Dorvin Borough. So these are the four. Okay. So you send out that message. After a probably maybe five minutes, you get a response. 
I departed for Decadden. The Harbinger draws near. The cannons above the Dwarven Borough, so we have to go through the Dwarven Borough. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Any other words? That's it. Okay. No, I have four left. No, no I mean on three. his side. No. No, no that's all he said. He, did. he had had the Decadden. The Harbinger draws near. So then that's pretty much where we have to go next. But to get there, we have to go through the borough, unless yes. we take the river. But I don't know if we have a means to... You got the boat. Yeah. Well, the boat beach. is, and man, uh, is like person. hours away. Yeah. yeah. And damage. And what was that thing that was being guarded? Is that... Nah. Also, we'd have to, go, we'd have to travel upstream. Nobody wants to travel upstream. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's just take the path. And yeah. So it'll be safer six hours. Instead yeah. of wasting looking for portals. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> so what, where is Karen again? So Karen cool. is, in Karen is here, yes. but in order for us to join him there, we have to we go, have to the go the through the borough. Or he's on the edge. Yeah. Or go over the mountain, and right. as the fellowship mm. found, that that's not really a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> not the going through the yeah. Mayan Tamoria yeah. turned out well for them either. But yeah. Actually, can we just send a We can't go up the river. Okay. Jeremy, can you go over the mountain so we can go the bear, go over the mountain? I, yeah. <laughs> see what he could see. Oh, was really the other side of the mountain oh. and it was all that he could oh, see. We're doing the green jello version. I mean, I guess I could try and scout ahead if that's what you're after, but I no. can't fly. Well, let's just all walk. Wasn't there also, like, an army of, like, 6,000? Yeah, Not yet. They're about to go from Decaden through the Dwarven Borough to... In, right. Into so what you knew before was there is an undead threat. Prior to the undead threat becoming a problem, there's agents of the Empire currently in the crossing town Yes. where you started. They assembled the yeah, army in, in, in Deca- their legion in Decaden because they lost contact with their spy in the valley. Mm-hmm. Their spy is the person that you guys trapped in the temple mm. and died. Yeah. Oops. So... Because he didn't regularly check in, they, didn't. they, they basically poop hit the fan. They they assembled their soldiers there. There's six thousand soldiers. When the undead became a threat, they said, "We're going to summon the legion here, deal with the threat, and occupy the valley." Mm. But from what you're here, from this and what you've heard with Curran, is the undead are gathering there. Yeah, and it's not the. Six thousand. All the way back over here. Correct. Right here. We'd have to. Yeah. Yeah. Just take the path. 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 All right. Your 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 travel is pretty uneventful. Um, after after four of the hours, um, you do come across a crossroad. So the, there's a small beaten path that comes off the main path. Uh, the main path continues north towards the dwarven barrow. Uh, right in the middle of this little crossroad, um, you see. Light to the truth. Now, you see the the the, the, the forest. The forest grows more ominous as you're winding through the forest and the tradeway. In this clearing, there is a wide track to the west that heads off the road. In the middle of the clearing is a massive effigy standing nearly 15 feet tall, built on top of a gigantic humanoid skeleton. Ooh. The frame has been covered Jeez. with dark pigment, and a cross of blackened horns rests upon its brow. Um, whoa, 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 whoa. It's an a undead, body structure. It's an undead giant. Well, blackened horns? horns? A, a cross of blackened horns rests upon the, the, the brow of this. the Because uh, it's basically it is a giant skeleton giant hanging Jewish. on a frame that has been created with vines and horns. Oh, boy. Kind of built like, kind of like, like kind of like a Blair Witch kind of like effigy kind of thing mm-hmm. in That's the middle of the life. clearing. So, uh, That's not ominous at all. Just go around the clearing. It's like true detective. Do we do a, uh, I don't know, fucking arcana check on this? Roll. Different dice. 
Alright, now 20. Oh! Oh! Alright, so. Th there was two levels of success. You hit the second one. Uh, the first level is you identify the blackened horns and the, the markings is a symbol of the Duskhorn orcs. God, it's fucking orcs. Um, and this. The, you know, there's you know some ruins carved onto the skeleton, and you think that this is some kind of celebratory piece that is basically Slaughter's symbolizing down. the Duskhorn's victory over the creeping frost frost giants. Interesting. Hmm. So they're bragging about beating the giants. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And killed the chieftain of the giants. So these bastards and the dusk, the Duskhorn were the group of orcs that said they were going to ally with the Creeping Frost under direction of the Harbinger. Mm. But instead, they they're gloating about beating them, so mm -hmm. they're trying to take credit. Yeah, yeah. I, take, I take the crown of horns. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm not against that. it. It's a good disguise. Yeah. All right, give me a climbing check. Because uh, it is 15 oh, wait, no. feet off the ground. Sir, sir, there's easier ways to do this. <laughs> oh, yeah, mage hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So let me grab that off the... Oh, yeah, I got it. All okay. right. You, you use the force and bring the, the, the little crown of blackened horns down. I wear it. Thank God I'm here. Ooh. Wow. Wear it. I mean, you're more entitled to it than, you know, that, right? Except maybe, maybe they might think you're aligned. We'll see. I'll see what happens. What happens, John? Nothing. 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 It's, a, it's a nice. It's a nice piece. Okay. Right. So on. There we go. Is there anything else that we notice around? I'm Stay on the main path. About to piss some orcs off. Yeah, they're gonna be. <laughs> nope. That, that, that's like I said. The main main trade way goes north. Continues going north. It's about two more hours up to. Uh, Dwarven Barrow, and then there is, is, there's an other path that goes off to the side. Right, so we head to Dwarven Barrow. Well, I'm going to get to do some Before we easy get job. too far along, we do know that there's literally going to be an undead. So right now, it us. is 2 p.m. Wait a second. Did we just move down the road? No, no. not yet. Not yet. You're still two hours south of the yeah, Dwarven two Barrow. Two hours south. We're, what the? We're near the mountains. There. They can't you know, reanimate this giant, right? We don't know that. Well, let's get the hell out of here and we'll <laughs> find out. Hey, can you put like a fucking torch in his, in his eyeballs or something? Use your magic and just, just just quick. Just do some, you know, you got all the cool stuff. Yeah, but we got I could fireboard. Yeah, do that like five times and let's get the fuck out of here. Five times? I, I what? think once would be more than enough. Well, is it a cantrip? Yes. Can he do it five times? Yeah. There. So you just you just start okay. unleashing a bunch of firebolts on the thing and on the... the yeah, on his head, and, and the, the frame of it starts lighting on fire, and the thing just kind of like folds in on itself and collapses. Good job. We did it. Yay. Okay. Yay. So, so we kicked the head far away. Like, so we're getting we're close to the burrow. We're the head far away from the That was it. That was the big huh? final boss. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> we need to start Their thinking is gonna about our approach that. so that we're not immediately detected by an entire army. How far are we are we? We're not gonna like just walk up to them and be like, "Hey guys." I know, going? but I want to make sure we don't just walk up to no, them because like, this has happened before. And yeah. I know no, it happened when Skeet was here because he he's would not just here go today. right. And there. Skeet would just like engage ah! with everyone. Yeah. He'd be like, "You see some ah! ominous figures. What's up, dudes?" <laughs> yeah. Oh crap! They're attacking him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We'll be careful. Yeah, we're not gonna do. We're that. just gonna walk up. And we're gonna to their tush. we're gonna go Fart in the face. We're okay. gonna go through the trees and we're just gonna spy. All right. So you mentioned a side path. Yes. Can, what, geez, can we and tell where it path. leads, or...? Uh, of course, of course. The crow, the this guy that's, that's, that's worried about us getting attacked is like, let's take the creepy path. Well, I'm <laughs> I'm not saying we take it, I'm just asking Why can't questions. Give me a roll. I'm just Why can't we take the good path and then just hide on the because way? Because it's literally going to lead to the build, front build door. The I know, yeah, we yeah. Can always hide if you're trying to sneak up on an army, you don't just walk right through the front door. Yeah, we don't say we have to... Like, go all the way there. We could, like, halfway well, there. Well, that's why I'm so. looking into the path, because if it circles around on their camp... He's, look, he's asking questions. All yes, right. all I'm doing is using my brain right now. Okay, so 15 plus, I believe I have a... Yeah, three. 
So your keen dwarven eyes, as you're kind of like looking around, uh, you notice in the distance, not like very far in the distance, there's like a, like a, a thin pume of smoke coming up down that path. Oh, interesting. So either someone's made a camp or it's something else. Oh, which is hut. Might be some stuff there. Let's check that. So I relay that to everyone else. Hey. What, are your, what are you laughing at? I'm not what? laughing. What? Well, no, no, there's something. Be something. That's all. The bird. That's why you can check out. Oh, the crow? Yeah, I mean, we could do that too. That's only once a day. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, so we've already dated it. We've already used it. Ha. Uh, Bro, guy. Did you guys want to try and investigate it me, or no? Let me, let me ask. Do it first, so friends. Do I'm we stealth. see any? Do we see any tracks where we are with uh, where the carriage was? Not give me a roll. Okay. There are lots of tracks, but more to try to figure out what. It's a six. Can you I? don't really. They, you, like I said, you see a lot of tracks. Skeet gets a seventeen. Oh, there you go. He lets you know that there have been a lot of tracks, a lot of wagon wheels that are pretty fresh. So there's been wagons coming. From in this area. direction. Okay, so it's just a high the, traffic area. So the, by the look of the horses dragging the wagons, you think that, uh, or he thinks that, mm -hmm. the wagons have been coming from Timberton mm -hmm. up to the barrow. Yes. In other words, people. I've been mean, taking the path to the left. Yeah. Uh, there's not as much traffic. However, he does tell you that the traffic there is indication going that way. There is someone without boots that there his feet why it caught Dragon went his that way. Uh, attention. The foot is like this. Current went that way. Okay, it was not. But no, it way. looks like a human foot. Oh. I and, but it's like this big. Right. So a giant. giant. So do so you still want to go that way? No. Mm. Oh. Drago so says no. Isn't it, maybe it's a different tribe of giants that's trying to align with da 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 and they hung up. That has... Well, I'm just trying to think of how we can sneak into the borough because we know that know. we know that carriages are making making it through. So if we can sneak on the one, well, I, I I I maybe we should vote on it. Mm. I think I think. Yeah. So what do you right? guys want to try and do? What What are our options here? Our options Avoid really. So we're going to go take the path and explore, or continue on the main to where we. I would so uh, to go. path less travel to the main road is what we're saying. Yeah, yeah I, would I, would do path. I would do path, less traveled, and stuff. Yeah, that's my vote. My vote is for continue on ahead. Drago, continue on ahead. I'm going to go continue on ahead. I'll get the vote because you guys are It's going to be tied the way it's going to matter. Well, no. <laughs> right no, now, no, no, it's, it's two it, against it, four. It, it literally what depends. <laughs> it's two versus three. So, no, like, it's, like, it's not tied either I know, way. I know going to say. It's that way I don't have to vote. Well, Skeet's not here. Well, so. I know. Well, yeah, but if you we tie, we'll just roll it off. Skeet yeah, has a Mark, what are you going to say? You can either tie it or you don't. You can roll a dice for Skeet. We can have this be a yeah. rando Calrissian. If, Mark, if you tie that thing, Skeet can roll. Or, it depends. What, what are you doing? Go with. How's it feel? Just how's, go with your guts. How's it feel, Wolf's Bane? Yeah, yeah, it sucks. You're not the type of guy. You're the type of guy. You're the type of guy. I break. know. Yeah. <laughs> you have two options. I know. Two that's you can't game. tie both ways. How's the tire just make it make helpful aggravated? No, I won't be aggravated. If you don't want to do it, we don't have to do it. I'm just trying to think of options. That's it. I won't be mad at you. If we, just tell me what you did. If we get into a fight, <laughs> it's likely to give us information about what to do next. But if we get into the, on the main path, we could just get into the thing that's next, which might not be advantageous. It's kind of flying point. I'm going to choose the, the less walked path. So we're tied. So we're tied. So we don't have to. So, so John, John, John can be five years. You can roll a D10. Mark, even you just picked the even you one one odds. Can we just put on a dice roll? I can't believe that. We can do anything, yeah. anything above. Yeah. 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 No, no, no. Let me roll a bit. Let me roll a bit. No, wait. No, no, no. John. John. All right. So what it, what is? I figure even oh, even okay. we explore the the thing with the plume, and then odd we uh, head down down the road. Even. 
Head on down the road. Head on down the road. Head on down the road. No, even even was the plume. Even was the plume. Oh, was it? Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to decept- well, I mean, <laughs> we could get, we could get Which close. Which is why I wasn't reacting and letting and the it looks like shit. Because, <laughs> right. like you said that, I was like, I thought odd was the second thing you yeah, said. almost worked too, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Sympathic. Well, I say we have Ski kind of act as a scout to see what what the plume yeah, is, because it's not that far. Sure, he's no. out here. He's he is the most good. stealthy. You can just use the mind thing, and uh, uh, he can cookie just cookies. tell you Chocolate what's chip? Or, or, or or if he's about to do a stealth roll, can I give him Bardic Inspiration, sir? You can, and... He basically he he uses delicious. invisibility. Oh, Steve, brother, you gotta yeah, tell me before you do that. So he goes invisible. Yeah, he heads off. Uh, he's gone for maybe 15 minutes. He comes back, and you see him uh, up here in front of you, coming out of the, the foliage. Get my dude! And he, dro- he drops to the ground and dies. No. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, there's a solitary giant. He, uh, cooking a boar at a campsite. I'd be able to talk to him. Mm. He's not going to eat seven of us. We've already chosen to go this way, so... We he's to he's, to the giant. <laughs> yeah, he's obviously not the as strong solitary? as the face in the, in the ice. Yeah. Well, I mean, we know what it is. I don't know how talking to him will lead there. Could lead to marriage. This was no, your whole thing, Jeremy. He, it could be the marriage. Yeah, Jeremy, you wanted this. You talked to him. I just wanted to know what the source of the, the campfire was. Now that we know it's a giant, I don't know if it's worth going there or not. <laughs> My hope was is that it was a carriage transporting um, supplies through the borough and that we could just sneak oh, on him. Never in a horror movie would you. What, what if we. Uh, this is a really suspicious thing. Let's go look at it. <laughs> <laughs> That no, is a very movie. horror movie type action. What am I doing with it? I just want to go check it out. Yeah, can, we just, can we just go to the car? <laughs> we, we could turn around. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's yeah, I mean we don't have to engage. We can just go yeah. if you want. I'm just trying to figure What's out how point? we can... Now we know there's a giant. What or, if... Yes. One of us dresses up like a female giant well, and we walk over right. like Bugs Bunny like. You got a really big trench coat and three of you stand yes. on top of each other. Hello there! <laughs> Are, <laughs> Mark is our Ant-Man this game, I guess. To be honest, I and Mark's a shapeshifter, so he makes he's the head that transforms <laughs> into Oh my god, can we do this? <laughs> no! Stop! <laughs> so we can wear the shroom uh, armor. I'm, I'm I can try and charm him. Do that. Okay. There you go. And then uh, I have found out probably. more about how to secretly get into the area and, and spy on the. Isn't that charisma? Wait, does he have higher charisma than you? I have 20 charisma right now. Oh, right, I forgot because you made a deal with the old hag. Yes, yeah. yeah. So why not use it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Use it while I got it. Yeah. Or I'll just walk You on. should use that 20 charisma to convince her not to kill you when you can't pay your debts. Yeah, right? We're all just walking around, and every time I see you, know, uh, like, well, like, well, 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 <laughs> I felt the need to <laughs> like, say something about the current predicament that Brian and Mark find themselves in as as players of D anD. d They know very well that they've put their characters in grave peril for such a magnificent boon. From this point on, their fate is sealed, unless a hero comes along, and will one? Dun genetics. Thank you. What I have to say to you now, gang, won't take much more than a minute, but it's serious and important, so please don't go away. As you've no doubt noticed, we haven't anything to sell in this program right now, that is, no commercial product, I mean. Well, that gives us an opportunity to sell you something that's bigger than anything you can buy. Peace. That's something you can't buy with money, but which you can assure by simply learning how to understand and live with your neighbor. You see, when people try to understand each other, they find it's really easy. Honest it is. All you have to do is accept the fact that although all men are in truth created equal, there are certain differences. There must be. Such as, for instance, we can't all look alike exactly. We can't be expected to think alike exactly. And although we all worship God, we need not necessarily all do so in the same way. But those things don't make us really different because underneath all that, we're all people, human beings. And with that as a basic truth, 
Can you see any need for quarreling and name-calling and other such things that make for unhappiness? Of course not. So from now on, in your daily contact with other boys and girls and grown-ups, try to keep that in mind. That's what the United Nations is trying to accomplish on a worldwide scale, because that's the only way to ensure peace. <laughs> All right, so what are you guys doing? Uh, I guess we're going to go seduce this No, giant. No, we're not. Command only works for one minute. Well, all I could do is walk up to him, have a conversation. If he doesn't hit me with something really hard for one minute or whatever, maybe I can... No, Get some it's, information it's, out of him? I don't... Mark, Mark said he was up for you. Well, I mean, like I said, He's now that we know what it is, we don't have to actually go no, up to I'm, the guy. I'm not a big fan. Not, not even for per self-preservation. I just think... Made that. Mine lasts an hour. Okay. Oh, well, command is not charm person. Yes. yes. You said you're going to charm From my ask? limited knowledge about a giant, I feel like he's just going to want to attack us. Well, this is Mark and charm home, so. This is not going to turn out well. I feel like we should just ignore him and go where we got to go. No. You're actually not wrong. No, we decided to uh, listen Dragonborn it, and Giants. There was like a major clash with those two. Well, someone says you guys have to come out in the middle of the open and see it. Yeah, but I feel like he's going to attack go, anybody. I'm going to go with Mark. And Mark's gonna charm. Let's see what happens. You guys want to go this way? Yeah, you guys want to go this way, so I'm fucking all for We're it. Doing it. Right. We're no, doing it. I didn't want to go this way. I'm gonna hide behind if, the building. Listen, Skeet, I'm gonna hide. To be, We're to gonna be hide. honest, Skeet would have just went up and just checked out on it. He would have killed it and brought if. it back like a clock <laughs> with him in his hand. Like, there was a giant over there. If we're oh, doing cool. this. What, is, what happened? I killed yeah. it. Let's if we're doing it. this. And here's what I'm proposing. Oh boy. I can do an enthralling performance. It's a one minute. This creature has to listen to me perform for one minute. You can put a clock on this. Because i got a song lined up. And that's easy peasy. Well, I'm squeeze. If I <laughs> start coming to me and starts to hit me, dude, either say my ass or you do your thing right away. Well, Maybe he would. He if comes he does up. try to attack you, he's not going to get charmed. He's going to get vortex work into the fire. Well, that's not going to do enough damage. No, he's no. too big. Then you have to charm him. That's it. That, that, that's our options. Okay. Well, here's the thing. Wait, 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 wait. Charm. What's... Uh, if he's already charging at me, would charm make him a friendly enemy to both you of us? You would have to... You'd have, you'd to, have to charm before. him before he's yeah. hostile. I have to charge him before he's hostile. I can't charge him because he's already... Yeah, that's why he's I have hostile, to go in there first charm charm. and charm him. Right. So Marcy, then you could do your command thing after I've already charmed him. We'll space him another charm him. You don't have to do that. You yeah. Charm uh, I could command him at when we're done with him and have him just run that way. Right and, there you go. And he'll run for yes, for him, one minute. Yeah, maybe we, I can charm him, bring him with us. You know what? Have then him, have him. Then you command him when we get to the last one hour. How far away are we from the Northern Burrows where we are right now? Two hours. Yeah, two hours. Two hours. Hmm? So if we charm him for an hour, I can befriend him, make our buddy in an hour. Maybe and we can ride him on the way. We can just hang out with him until we get to the Dorman Burrow, and then Ooh, he can, I can ride him. To have him go to the I can get on his shoulder. Attack no. whoever's at the Dorman Burrow. <laughs> no. No. I'm kidding. I'm yeah, kidding. Really good. Good. You do you realize your strategic race? advantage of being on the ground, right? I know. It was a joke. Yeah. Okay, okay, good. I really she didn't want to okay. run the trees. Yeah, the trees. <laughs> Jeez. Even the trees walk. The Drago just jokes. The Drago just jokes. Let's let's go. I'm going to go with Mark. I'm going to go with Wolf Spain. You have your, I'm holding back. Because... You have your bardic inspiration, sir. All right, so the two of you go in, and everyone else is go. hanging it back. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Well, this is gonna kind of stealth and be behind the. the All right. So the two of you come up, and as you go in, he's not trying to be quiet. Um, as you come up, you you can hear his voice. He's like, "Cook you, wretched piggy. Let's get this hungry." And as you're getting closer, he's like, All gone, all dead but me. Poor old Muskin. Oh, this reminds me of the Hobbit. So I kill Skin. Maybe he can be our our one giant in the scale company. (laughs) Alright, so you guys come into the clearing? Yes. Alright, you come into the clearing, and... He, he's just like rotating the boar on on the over the fire, and then you then you see him. He he gets up because uh, you can see he's slowly turning his spit, and muttering himself. He's 
extraordinarily tall, but emancip- emancipated with her fucking emaciated. 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 Yeah. With stooped shoulders, his blue skin marked by red lash marks, and his his wild mane of hair and beard is tangled, snow white. He easily tops eleven feet, even while sitting on the ground. Yeah, it's a big dude. Right, I don't know, well, Mark. What do you need to do for your your charm thing? Let's cast it. Well, we is could it, just try talking to him. No, we're gonna try. Too risky. Well, that's why. That's why I'm asking. Yeah, I'm just gonna cast it. All right, we'll cast it, and then, and then, uh, he has to make a wisdom saving throw. Yeah. What's well, that? I guess. I want this to be a bunch of natural right now. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I want them to go in and right. see uh, you, you, you sue them and he looks over and he's like... It's not enough that you took my clan? Now you come for me? No, friend. Were you just passing through the area and heard you muttering and smelt your boar cooking? Well, since it's hungry, don't take my boar! No. We would never take your, your boar, sir. We just heard you wondering about losing your friends, and we just wanted to come and chat with you and hear the stories of your, your clan. He looks down, and he's like, My clan is dead. The creeping frost is destroyed. Stupid dust hole. Dust hole and orcs. And the shadow elf. Uh, we've heard we've heard of the shadow elf. Isn't the vile a shadow elf? Uh, the harbinger is. Harbinger is the shadow elf. Okay. Uh, was one of your friends the one that was up on the path on our way in to the? He kind of like pouts. You see, a, a, a tear go down his face. He's like, he was the last that fought. And he kind of like looks over and traces one of the lash marks on his body. He's like, unfortunately, they held me in the pits, the pits of Timberton, but I was able to flee. Unfortunately, yeah, one of my friends died. I don't from remember Lavinia. seeing that when we were there. They didn't want to investigate, that's why. Mm. <laughs> you, you guys didn't, didn't, didn't yeah, investigate didn't look around. Yeah, he didn't check the town out. He just wanted to take off. Oh. Like, yeah. Well, friend, we have we come from a, a place where we could we could use a giant of your stature to help rebuild our towns. Would you be interested in joining our joining with us? Would you be part of our plan? No, my clan is dying. I don't want to start again. I'm just going to wait for them to come. Well, we're actually uh, heading toward the Dwarven Borough. And uh, our plan is to attack and face whatever's there. Would you want to join up with us? And we we fought the dust horn before. We fought them before. Yeah, we All right, well, give me a TC a TC twenty or a uh, a, a D twenty. So you roll. I got it. You can roll again with advantage because seventeen. I got seventeen. Nice. He he stands up and he's like, I will not join you, but I will fight them in the ways of my people. Mm. Luskin will not go down. I will search for any other that have fleed from the pits, and we will stand against what is coming. Maybe Sweet. you can tell us more about what we're running Who into. Who else was in the pits with you, my friend? The, the remainders of my tribe. Do you know how many of them were left? I don't know. There was others that were imprisoned in Timberton. I don't know how many were killed okay. or fled. I, uh, what about current? Did you see a dragon while you were there in Timberton? Or a man. Or a man? A man named Curran? I'll describe it to the best of my abilities. I've always saw him. A thought. very effeminate, beautiful looking man. He got like a blue crushed velvet vest, a long brimmed hat of feather on the side of it. it has a, like a robin's egg color to it. He, he seems pretty strong. There was a traveler that came in and spoke with some of the leaders of the carver, the butcher of my people. But this creature, I, this creature was very similar to how you described, but he was covered in shadow. 
I current is not. I'm gonna, current. I'm gonna walk up yeah. and yeah, yeah. Did yeah. you catch that? What? Yeah. What? Current's, current's now, now the new uh, Uzi wants it from last time. Yeah, he's he's corrupted. Fuck. Current's been turned. Mm. Like the other lady was. Damn it. Yeah, yeah. Care. Yeah. I turn into a little sexy dwarf. Mm. Damn it. <laughs> we get that brain. How out of this, guy's, this guy's a triple threat. Mm. Yeah, he's a dragon. Blue he's dragon. sexy. He's and he's <laughs> turned. Yeah. God. He's also a blue dragon, so yeah. I assume he's so going to be evil. He's basically leading us to He's actually he's trying to get He's too to sexy him. for his... Yeah, yeah. So he's actually getting us to come to... Uh, so if we go with our initial plan uh, of trying to destroy uh, the tunnel, the dwarven burrow, so that nothing can come back from the Kingdom of the Valley. We're helping them. We're... No, we're... We're keeping... Because he's in the Kingdom right now. Yes. So we're not going to help him. We're helping us. By keeping all the fuckers out from the yeah. cave. So. But we have to get there, though. Yeah. So he, you, you, you heal him, turn, uh, uh, and uh, he thanks you. Um, and he cuts off uh, a leg of the boar and hands it to you. I appreciate it, my friend. Oh. It's Wait. like about like that big. <laughs> little, you sure? It's you like a hobbit <laughs> just eating a whole leg. Can we give him a good berry? Yeah, I can give him. <laughs> well, you guys are behind us, remember? Oh, yeah. Like, spook him with all these other people. Like, You're yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you might yeah. freak out. Yeah, I should know. probably take the dust corn crown off. Huh? We should. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's a little disrespectful. <laughs> we, Just uh, a little. Well, he might think. I think that I appreciate this. Yes. I appreciate your, your <gasps> offering. He's like, I will find other survivors. And when the dead come, smash! And we will be right by your side. That we'll hope to be right by your side when that happens, my friend. Good luck. Good luck to you as well. Uh, My name is Wolfsbane, by the way. Luskid. Can we use a combat? Uh, do I have any kind of... Why not? Luskid is his own man. Anything? Hold on. Yeah, he might be the last of... Hold on, this is pretty cool. He can come he, in the last minute. Yeah, he's going to help. Hold on. Thanks to us. Not you guys. <laughs> She's such an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> It might just, it might come in handy. We get into trouble and have a giant on our side. That's why I gave him a little heal and get rid of those wounds he kept fingering. Oh. I don't mean that sexually. I mean, he was no, touching. No, he's fingering his wounds. Crystal like has that. As one does. does. You have to get rid of crystal. He's got an extra wound. He's got an extra wound. He's got an extra wound. He's got Okay. Listen, it's not even nine yet. What are you doing? <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> Already. Okay, but. No, you're one that knock anyone's uh, shower type uh, procedures. Yeah, come on, calm down. Sexier when it's just the tip. Yes, yeah. He's edging. I'm gonna. I'll, Google, I'll hand him a pack of wound closure. Okay. Cool. Oh, you, you, can't, you can't hand that to him. Okay. Well, well, uh, that, it's a pack. It's literally. It's uh, a. It's it's that's what makes you stabilize when you go to zero. I will give him a potion of healing. That you can get. Yes. Like the you hear this, from the woods, this portion of people. <laughs> Whoa, so on your journey, if anything, and you might be able to find one if you next find any of your friends who need assistance. Thank you, small ones. We thank you, big guy. I hope to see you in the future, my friend. I hope to see you in the afterlife. Either would be an honor. <laughs> and go down the regular way that we well, were going. Good job. Us. Thank you. That was good. Well, at least, hey. hey you know, yeah, yeah. And you gave him. You give them the potions? Allies, yeah, oh, we have a million. We all have a bunch of them. We have, yeah, we have yeah, a bunch yeah, of them. We have tons of them. Yeah. Okay. We feel like you can't heal anyone anyways. Yeah. I heal people all the time. That's what I'm saying. So why do we have the potions for? Do we, do we oh. learn about it? We've got, got one thing you're good at. I've only got one thing you're good at. We're going to Dwarven Burrow. Dwarven Burrow. Oh, the Burrow is on the place. No. I thought, I thought there least, was a burrow and then at least the one you can do we're going to like cut off one of the <laughs> no, yeah, so the, the burrow is under the mountains you want to cut off the entrance to the burrow because then it has to I thought we were trying to get to the Caden by going yeah, no we don't want to go to the Caden because that will force them to have we to want, go to the mountains we don't want to fight 6,000 soldiers no, no our mission is to take down the burrow there you go close it, it. <laughs> Oh, yeah. So we're not meeting up with the blue he turned no he turned yeah, yeah that you missed with you the conversation the they were having it's it's more devourers, dude. It's 
Yeah. Don't get it twisted. He was a good guy. He's being controlled. Yeah. Yeah. He has no. You had him been captured in Timber Ten and Turn. Okay. Yeah. All right. As we approach the barrow, the does anyone time. want to order pizza? Should have picked a different spell. Hey, don't don't do that to yourself, man. You did, you did good. You made the right choice. Plus, just, it's just one day away. <clears throat> or I could cast Liamman's tiny hut, and then we slow down our process forward, and you know, John catches up with his his machinations of time that he keeps intrinsically in order on a on an Excel sheet. Do yeah. last forever. And, right. and do you want your? Mm. Go ahead. So when you refer to the giant, Skeet saved with the giant, and he's going to track with him to help him locate any potential there you go. Uh, nice. allies. Nice. Allies. That's a good idea. Um, yeah. So you guys arrive at the south of the barrel towards Alex. Or as Skeet would say, I'm going to go with a giant and I'm going to help uh, well, other people. Oh, you guys are kind of like off the clearing. Way in the long like, over I'm here. Go help recruit other folks to make his own little platoon of giants. I feel like I, Come on, guys. Let's go. Why are we all off? Why are you Marge's sister? <laughs> oh no. That's how Drago dies. Oh. He smokes it back. Yes, he does. It's the acid breath. It's a, uh, yes. yes, it's the acid breath. Where's the Where's the Where's the South of Gispito? I feel fun clouds. Oh shoot. Yeah. I was just actually looking for my pizza tower. Pizza tower. Pizza, pizza man. Instead. I want Your show blades in there. A pizza uh, man. Mailbag. Okay. So can you, can you use staffs? That's you don't you know, typically <laughs> use whatever you want. Those are lickable. What is the... Uh, Everything's you know, every, every lickable, sir. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> like, a, like a mark. Prove like me wrong. Like, like, oh, like, no, I mean, like lickable jelly. Bubbles you could put? We have bubbles for no. the cats. Do There's cat you yeah. typically a bubble? Oh, okay. No, don't, no. Don't put I just haven't like cut out that thing and put out. some sort They're of cool. instrument in bubbles like crazy. Crazy. The cats I have daggers I throw. They cared for but, one yeah, minute. Really, I don't know. That was fun. That was fun. The cats want a bubble stickler. Yeah, well, dude, it might as well be. I'm a college of glamour. Very high in the spring. My cats used to love to do those things. Special of that. Yeah. My cats used to like the milk rings. My yeah. cats used to like the milk rings on the milk container. Yeah, same kind of thing. Oh, they have like actual ones you can buy, like little plastic things. Yeah, like which is funny. Can my bardic inspiration back? No, no right now. I can't believe they use it. Yeah, I don't know if you've seen them. Because I had a neat cat moment. Oh. Yeah. Um, John, I can't believe they use I know, because Jill had like seven cats, and they had that huge one. Magic Weapon just makes the. We just love kicking it into high gear here at Dungeonetics. Thank you, Rogar, for keeping us solid with a couple punches right to the pituitary. I don't have a screen on this mic, so my peas are kind of coming in pretty strong on the old pedometer. The music that you're currently listening to is from Virus of Ideals. Give them a check out. They're fantastic. I just usually pass by these things, but guys, if you love, love. Oh my goodness. Anyway. It's the blips and blops that you heard during the middle part of this episode is from uh, freesounds.org. Great thing. I have a podcast. And Kellen, very beginning of the music, Smite Baby Smite. And remember, adventurers, each inside every one of you is a little adventurer just hoping to get out. There's ways to chisel, chisel that soul free. You can use a grinding wheel, you can use a block of sandpaper. Or, if you're hungry enough, Get those chompers going. 
It's Groundhog Day. It's not Groundhog Day. Have a good night. Do you have the original in Draconic? Yes. Yes, I do. May I? May I? I'm, think, I'm thinking that we're going to need uh, to know how to speak it in a melody that opens a, a door or a lock or something. That's awesome. Well, it doesn't look like... See, that's that. That was... Oh, cause yeah, cause okay. it's they're like they they claw. That's how they write. I should have known. I feel like a rookie. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. I mean, I, I do actually know how to do music. That's the problem. Let's look at that. Actually, I'm I'm legitimately saying, go into like my, my tracking program and make up a quick tune. I mean, we could we could probably. You just say it's yeah. a, a skill roll. Of course. The better that we uh, sell it, the better. It doesn't even rhyme. I know. And I'm thinking it's going to be. Okay, so so you know how some like Russian. Can I, re versus... can I rewrite it? I would love to rewrite it, but keep the, keep the meaning. It's not maybe. Good. Maybe. It may have to be spoken in dr draconic, though. I'm telling you. That was, so that was wrapped around the hilt. So that, that right there.